Hello everyone, this is Humphrey again with Router Gods. In this video, we're going to continue on with our PuTTY installation. And we've already installed it, now we're going to actually work with PuTTY. So as your console window comes up, uh, probably notice uh, nothing really changes. Uh, text may look a little different, but actually a lot of stuff has changed. If you select some text, you'll notice that you can select text by holding down your left cursor button, your left mouse button, and, and highlighting stuff. And when you let go, it's still highlighted, and you're probably wondering, okay, what's the big deal? Well, what you've actually done is uh, you've copied that to the clipboard, and I'll demonstrate by opening Run and opening up Notepad. I'll click off of there. So let's say uh, I want to copy this line. Hold down the left mouse button, scroll to the left, then I go into Notepad, hit Control v and we've got our text pasted in there. So left mouse button, highlights and copies to the clipboard. Uh, let's say you want to copy something from Notepad and put it into your console window. Well, it's going to be the right mouse button. And here, let's do something. Let's uh, I'll type in enable. I'm going to select that. Control C to put it in my clipboard. I'm going to go back into my console window. I'm going to right click, and you can see enable goes right there. So a lot of times when you're doing your Cisco, Cisco certs, and when you get into a higher level, you'll be able to do a whole bunch of stuff like in your notepad, just from memory, because you've been doing this for so long. So something like interface Ethernet 0, IP address 1.1.1.1, put in an IP mask, no shut. OK, so we're going to copy all of this. Right click, copy. And then within my console window, I'll just right click copies all that in there and of course we don't have an Ethernet 0 so it cro croaks out there but you could see it, if we did have an Ethernet 0 it would have taken that command we actually have a fast Ethernet 0 there okay but that's alright okay so left click copies into your clipboard right click paste if you want to change some of the settings such as how far you can scroll back you can go into your console window up here in the blue bar. You can right click on it. And you've got all these different options here. You've got special commands. You can go full screen. I uh, probably don't want to go full screen. I got an interesting one here called copy everything to clipboard. And that's basically just the equivalent of control A and then copy everything and you could paste it somewhere else. It's similar to as if you held down your left mouse button here and you just basically scrolled up. It's just a quicker way of doing that. As we get back into our settings, you probably want to go to Change Settings. We'll click on that. And here you could uh, save different settings if uh, you use PuTTY a lot, like uh, we do at work. Logging. Here's what's pretty cool. You could save all of your output to a log file. And what you usually do is I'll do uh, All Session Output, Log File Name, click on Browse, and then you pick something on your desktop, then putty log is fine. What to do if log file already exists? Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. You probably want to always append to the end of it, but it's up to you. OK, terminal, you don't really want to mess with that. Keyboard, probably don't want to mess with that. What you do want to mess with is window. So we've got 80 columns. That's, uh, that's usually fine. Rows 24, you can make the rows more if you want to. Let's play with 50. And you can see it basically makes my window taller. Yes, I know it's earth shattering, but it is something to do. Okay, we'll go back to window. Okay, when Windows resize, you can change that. Lines of scroll back. I like changing this to 1000 so you can scroll back quite a bit. Display scroll bar, you definitely want that. Appearance, you could change all this wonderful stuff. If you want to change the font to look a little bit better, you can anti alias it, or you could clear type it. We'll apply that. And just to demonstrate the scroll back, we've changed it to a thousand lines, so let's do show run. Show run again. Okay. 
well, our configuration is pretty bare, so it's not much there. But as you can see, as I scroll back, I have a lot more scroll back than before. Makes it really convenient. Okay, let's see if there's any other settings we could change. Telnet, that's fine. Everything else looks pretty much okay. All right, so this was a quick and easy video about the configuration and changing of the settings of PuTTY. Thanks a lot.